All right, this video is carrying people on your back. It's weird because it seems like you, all the people you care about or you love or are somehow connected to you, maybe not strangers, but like problems they have, like it seems like you carry them on your back as well. At least I do. And it, it doesn't, like, it's not directly affecting you or me, but somewhere in the back of my brain, it it's, like, in there. Like, other people's problems that I care about, they're in the back of my, in the back of my head or brain or whatever you want to call it. And it's weird because, you know... I got, like, my own issues and stuff to deal with. And then, like, you know, you also have other people's stuff to deal with that you're connected to. I just found out my dad passed away, my biological dad. And, well, i only seen this man, like, maybe three or four times my whole life. He never, like, helped out or anything. He was never, like, around in my life, and I just found out, like, a couple days ago he died. And it's, like, in the back of my mind or whatever, and he was, like, shot. And it kind of hurt, and I'm, like, why would it hurt if I didn't, like, know the man, really? Just from seeing him, like, a couple times. And the fact that he was, like, shot or whatever, like, really bothered me. Maybe it has to do with my own mortality or whatever. But still, like, you... Like, I'm pretty, like, strong or whatever, and it's in the back of my head. And it got me thinking, like, everything else, you know, wrong with, you know, people I care about or love is also in the back of my head. It's just, you know, I store it somewhere back there, but it's... It's back there. My sister went through like operations or whatever and like it affected me even though I don't really talk with her or connect with her but it affects me too. My mom and my stepdad they're you know getting older and their little problems I mean I try to avoid them as much as possible but I realize they're all in my head somewhere affecting me just a little bit each without me knowing I got kids ex-wife you know that are kind of close in my life although they're not close but because I'm like a truck driver so I'm gone all the time but still in the back of my head like I try not to think of it but Everything's back there whether I want it to be or not. And like I said, I have like my own issues, my own like head problems, my own, you know, illnesses or whatever, my own, you know, mission in life or, you know, I got to, you know, take care of myself and like it's weird. They all just like accumulate and stuff. Like, the brain, like, memorizes all the freaking bad shit. And I think it affects people. Everything, like, affects people. Whether they know it or not. Whether they want to be affected by it or not. It affects, I think, everybody. Maybe just me, but I think everybody. That you you care about, anyways. A stranger will, it's going to, well... Even a stranger you see, it might affect you, like, a little bit. They're going through pain and stuff like that. It just stays in the back of your head, and and it affects you. Well, it affects me, but... Yeah, that's all for this video. Um, 
I haven't been able to sleep because I drank a monster coffee energy drink. I drink a little bit of coffee and I can't sleep. This one was an energy coffee, so I really can't sleep. So I've just been thinking and, well, I thought of that like, wow, everything like affects me. Like, I mean, I, I work out, I work, so I'm busy all the time, but everything is in the back of my mind. And I think it affects like everybody, stuff they've gone through. All the trauma, all the pain. Even if you try to avoid it, it's still there. And I don't think there's a cure for it. Like exercise helps or working, staying busy helps, but it's all still back there, I mean. And I think it has to do with mortality mainly, that, you know, we're all going to die. And we're scared of, you know, dying. I mean, we could use some of the stuff to help us, you know, in our everyday life. Some of the trauma help us in our everyday life. But it's still trauma. It's still pain. Um, Yeah, it sucks, I guess. It sucks not having anybody to care for, but it also sucks having, you know, someone you care about. It's weird. Luckily, I only care about, like, maybe, like, ten people, so I'm only, you know, I'm only, I'm carrying my cross and a little bit of their cross, too. That's weird, and I never thought of it till today. And all the past trauma I've gone through or whatever, whether it's small or whatever, it's all in my head. It's tough, I guess, not to be crazy because all the stuff going on in, in people's heads and nobody knows how to deal with it. Maybe counseling or whatever, but even the counselors probably have a lot of trauma too. Anyways, that's my video.